<sighs> well, that was shite. Um, there's not too much to talk about, to be honest. Uh, we had a couple of chances. Of Worse than the a snow fest. Absolutely awful game, it really was. But Cavani came on and his first touch almost was a goal. Uh, it was a brilliant ball through, and it's a clever little run like Cavani anticipated the corner coming in from Fernandez but then it was passed so he changed position and then he dummied again and ran in and managed to get a little flick on and it was just wide it, he feels really up for it like I, I'm excited to see Cavani play this season I'm not gonna lie um even from this brief cameo uh, there's a lot of stick about Oli not playing Van der Beek I liked what he said in his press conference, you know, he, he's new, he's quite young, it's a new league, he's trying to adapt, uh, break him in, like he kind of did with Greenwood last season. Donny's played all seven games up to this point where he was an unused sub. Oli wants to use him, he really does. Um, you just got to give him a little bit of time, we've got a really tough set of fixtures, we've got Leipzig, Arsenal, uh, is it Everton after? against Leipzig I hope we have the same lineup that we did against PSG against Leipzig because that seemed to work really really well uh, against a, a, a team with dangerous forwards uh, I suppose Leipzig don't have as dangerous forwards as PSG but anyhow um, Tim's this game the best chance came in the 90th minute it was a brilliant shot from Rashford and fair play you know Mendy looks a decent goalkeeper and considering how bad Kepa has been for Chelsea it's probably a relief for them. Uh, he did kind of have a Kepa moment in the first half where he nearly passed it into his own net. That was pretty funny. But other than that, Mendy was really solid today. Uh, he didn't put a foot wrong. Thiago Silva as well was exemplary for Chelsea. He really stopped a lot of our attacks. Um, and yeah, I mean, that West Brom performance couldn't be further away from the performance he delivered today. So... Overall, if I'm being unbiased, a draw was probably the fair result. It's just I feel like we showed a little bit more going forward than Chelsea did, but still, it was a snow fest. There wasn't too much to talk about. We had a potential penalty debate where Thiago Silva kicked Rashford. I don't think that was a penalty either. That was just before the one with uh, Azpilicueta and Maguire. But yeah, it, it was just a really shit game, to be honest, and I hope there's not too many of those this season. Um... Oli has a few questions, of course, about the lineup, but it was the lineup that beat Newcastle 4 1 quite comfortably. I think personally, today for me, Wambasaka, Lindelof, and Fred were the three best players. What wrong today? was exemplary you know he played really well so we've got some depth in the squad and the start next side for a change for the first time in seven years is hard to actually say what you want the final XI to be I thought Greenwood was pretty good when he came on uh, he created a chance uh, for Cavani which was well blocked by Thiago Silva right at the end of the game so you know we've got options we really do uh, I'm glad Oli you know, dismissed all the BS that's surrounding Greenwood at the minute. The lad's 19, you know, he had a phenomenal season, 17 goals, only George Best and, 
was it Dennis Law or Bobby Charlton? I can't quite remember who it was, but the other player that also matched 17 goals as a teenager. There's a lot more space because the wing backs are pushed further up, particularly tears on the left. It gives the midfielder space, the striker space to run forward. So that deserve to be playing which again is rare for us in the last seven years. So that's a positive. The nil-nil result, it's a clean sheet. and hopefully we can also beat Leipzig but anyhow what do you think on the game again I think it was a snow fest but if you had to pick a winner not being biased I feel like we had a little bit more but again on the basis I think a draw was a fair result